What's up? Today we're talking about a little problem that you might have with your video footage, which is that the highlights sometimes look a little bit too harsh. I have an example here for today where the sun is directly over the ocean and the reflection in the water is just too bright. It's completely burned out and the transition from the water to this reflection just looks very harsh. It's very dig digital. It doesn't look cinematic at all. And we will solve that or at least make it look a lot better. So let's get into it. So the clip that you see here right now is actually from the iPhone 15 Pro and it is quite hard for those small sensor cameras to handle the highlights here, the roll off as it's called into the highlights. And right now you see it from the quick color grade from DaVinci Resolve inside here, but I will deactivate that now because I want to use a film convert to make that shot work. So let's get into our color grading part here and apply film convert. Choose our camera and picture profile, iPhone 15 Pro, Apple Lock, apply. Turn the grain off, I don't like grain really. And we have to make some tweaks of course, adjust the exposure here, adjust the temperature a little bit and the tint, and then we're getting a pretty good looking image. So that looks around good. And Film Convert recently got an upgrade with a new tool or an effect that can actually make that look better. You see that already here a little bit, it's called Halation. So when I turn it off, you can see that it looks around as harsh as before already. And when I turn it on, it's a little bit smoother, but not perfect yet. So I will increase the sensitivity here a little bit and soften. Yep, that's good. Then I will adjust the hue a bit because it looks a little bit too red to me. Yep, somewhat like that. Soften a little bit more now. Yep, that's good. Strengths, maybe a bit more. Okay, and then we have additional settings here where I can adjust, for example, the saturation to lower it a little bit so that it doesn't look too red in those areas here. Otherwise, it's quite unrealistic. And also just to spread a little bit more. Yep, that's good. Probably give it a little bit of boost. And I adjust the quality to quality because I want to have the best, obviously. We'll reduce the saturation a little bit more. And there you have it. Now, if you look at before and after, it looks a lot better. It's a little bit like a glow effect, but different. I will also show you the glow effect in DaVinci Resolve in a second because Film Convert unfortunately costs a bit of money, but it is totally worth it because as you could see with just a few clicks, I got this super filmic cinematic look here, including that halation effect that makes our highlight roll off much better. Yet the glow effect in DaVinci Resolve is essentially free. You don't have to buy anything extra, but it doesn't work exactly the same. So let's do that. Hey guys, little break here because I need your help. I'm in Hong Kong right now because I love traveling and and making travel videos and you probably do the same it's actually the skyline of Hong Kong here right now super cool and that's why I want to offer filmmaking tours soon where we travel together shoot awesome videos and learn a lot together and I partnered up with a company to plan all of that stuff because it's just too much for me and I'm not experienced enough to make those trips happening and to get started with this company Trova Trip I need you to fill out a survey which I will link in the description below we need to get 50 people to fill out this survey to make this trip happening because obviously they need to know that it's worth working with me that there's enough interest in my audience so please do me the favor fill out the survey below and I hope to travel with some of you guys soon so I turn the halation off here add a new note and then I'm searching for the glow effect here and apply that and now as you can see it also makes it glow here but it is different because it doesn't have the saturation or the redness or orangeness at the edges of it. And that actually makes it look a bit nicer. Now I could try to do something similar here by inserting a bit of red into that glow and I could eventually raise the saturation a little bit. But as you can see now, it makes that whole area yellowish, orangey, and it doesn't look as good as before. Now I can play around a bit more with those sliders to make it look better, but as you can see, it's not exactly the same. And so I think Film Convert does a better job, but generally if you don't want to spend money now on Film Convert and you want to have a bit smoother highlight roll off, then you can also use the normal glow effect here in DaVinci Resolve to make that look around good. It's not as nice as the halation, but it also gets gets the job done to at least look a little bit less digital. You just have to be really careful with those settings. 
So I think especially for shots like that, where you have all these reflections going on, Halation can do a great job to make the roll off a little bit smoother, so that your highlights look more cinematic. But Halation is actually used pretty much everywhere because it's more like an unwanted side effect of analog film. So I have another example here for you with a shot of me typing something on my MacBook. And as you can see, also have Halation turned on here and you can see that at the edges of the windows here when I turn that off. That's how it would usually look like on like digital cameras, but on analog cameras, it would look more something like that. You also oftentimes have this halation effect where there are lamps, for example, when you have shots in the night, and that also makes it generally look a lot smoother. I personally don't like too much halation because it can make the image also look a bit old in my opinion. That's why in my videos, I generally don't use it that much. I only use it where it really enhances the image, such as in examples where I just showed you. But well, if you, for example, want to have shots that should look a bit older, then you can generally add a little bit more halation so that it looks like an old film camera. So much about the halation effect. I think it's a great addition now to Film Convert because that is really something that a plugin like that needs that emulates film. And with the upgrade also just came the support for the iPhone 15 Pro and Apple Lock, which is also really nice because it holds quite a bit of dynamic range for such a small device. And Film Convert uses that to get this nice filmic look. Film Convert also runs a Black Friday deal. I don't know the details yet, so I will just leave a link to Film Convert in the description below so you can just check it out and save some money when buying this plugin. I already used Film Convert for many years and paid the full price in the beginning. And even back then, I already recommended it to my audience and to my friends. Now Film Convert has become a sponsor of this channel, but this is completely unbiased. It's one of my most recommended plugins for all video editors. It is available for DaVinci Resolve, for Final Cut and for Adobe Premiere. So check that out as well, especially now during Black Friday. And of course, hit the subscribe button for upcoming tutorials. And I would say I see you in the next video. Bye.